Okay, to have rooms in different phases, I think it's very important first that you have your view set up appropriately. So right now, I've just got the level one plan view. I'm going to duplicate this twice. And then I'll rename these copies. Uh, this will be called level one existing. And you may not use all these views necessarily in your construction documentation, but it is good to go ahead and have these. It helps with your the construction of your model when you're doing phasing. And I'll have a level one demo plan. The level one plan will basically be the new construction plan. I'll go ahead and click on level one existing. And again, as part of the setup here, we need to make sure that we have the phase filter on correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and change the phase filter from uh, sh uh, actually the phase filter will first we'll change the phase sorry to existing for the view and then the phase filter will be basically left at show all okay and the idea behind that is that it's going to show all uh, items that are part of the existing phase and then we'll go ahead and since we're in this view any geometry that I create in the model will be on the phase of the view in other words, any walls that I create right now will essentially be existing walls. So I'm going to just quickly get some geometry in here. And then I'll draw another dividing wall here. And let's say that your demolition's over here. Like you said before, you're, you've got one wor workroom and you're going ahead and basically divide it up into two. Let me just, just to have some demolition going on here, I'll go ahead and put in some walls there. Okay, so now that I've got my existing information, and you can click on any of these walls and they will be phase created existing. If you've already modeled your geometry, then you'll need to make sure that those items are on the existing phase. Okay, now in the demo plan, we want to make sure that we're showing the, uh, the phase as new construction, but the phase filter is going to be previous plus demo. Okay. And so it's going to show the previous or the existing phase plus anything that's been demolished. And here I'll go ahead and select these walls, for example, that I need to demolish. And I'll just go ahead and save phase demolished that were demolished in the new construction phase. And you notice that the, the phase graphic overrides go ahead and come into play and they apply those in this view. Existing still looks the same. There's demo. And then a new construction, remember we're, we want to go ahead and add a wall, but first before we do that, let's go back to the existing view and add our rooms. So let me do that real quick. I'll just go to the room tool, call this room, room, and we'll call this one workroom as per your desired workflow here. All right, and then we'll go to the level one, the new plan where as you know, it's a uh, phase is set to new construction, so any walls that are created here will be in the new construction phase. And for this level one, currently I'm showing all phases. I could go ahead and specify that I just want to see uh, new in the, the phase filter, new plus previous, basically, or previous. Uh, let's see, what would it be? It'd be new demo plus new. You know, I might want to show that or uh, something else, but well. I'm trying to think about that, but basically I'm going to leave it as is right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw or place a wall here. This is going to be a new wall. And then I'll place a, another couple of rooms. I'll place a room here and a room here. And these rooms, because rooms cannot be transferred from uh, phase to phase, phase, you know, they'll be part of the new construction phase. So basically, you know, hopefully this gets you to where you need to be for your project. You basically have the views, and depending on what you want to show, you change the phase filter. Okay, if you have any follow-up questions, just let me know.